Welcome to another episode of Real Talk with Real Tours about, about real, real stuff. stuff and real estate. And real estate. Yeah. Okay, let's talk about Kelsey. Okay. Kelsey Graben, now Kelsey Wakefield. Yeah, the name change thing is yeah. rough. So where are you I from like originally? Um, from Antioch. Okay, I was born in Sacramento, but moved to Antioch, California, which is East Bay Area, mm-hmm. when we were, I was two or three. <laughs> when we were you three. you person in your head? <laughs> Let's hope not. <laughs> Me and my other personalities. <laughs> okay, so you moved to Antioch. Yeah, moved to Antioch. So grew up there. My parents are still in the same house that we bought in 1997 and went to Chico State for school. And that's when I got, I honestly, everyone's like, how'd you get into real estate? I'm like, I don't know. I just didn't know what else to do. I (laughs) wanted to be, I thought I liked people. That's what people always like to say. Like when you go into sales, like I love working with people. And that is true to an extent. But real estate is so much more than just working with people. It's a whole business. Right. But I was looking into like car sales, which I don't know anything about cars and I'm not passionate about cars. I don't know where that came from. And I looked into dental sales, actually. So maybe we have something in common, Um, which was also boring. And I was like, no, I'm not going to be doing that. (laughs) And then I was thinking pharmaceutical sales. And I don't like to go into hospitals because I get really lost. So I didn't want to do that. What was your major in? Psychology. So when you major for real estate, it is, but when you major in psych, it's like you have three options. You become a professor, you become a therapist or you research. And I didn't want to do any of those things. Okay. So I just made, I don't know why I majored in psych. I started in business and there was a lot of public speaking and I'm terrified of public speaking, which people are very surprised about (laughs) because I have no problem on camera, but I don't like to public speak. So there was like a lot of speeches in business major. And then I was thinking of switching to communications and my mom was like, Kelsey, communications is all about public speaking. It's like, okay. So I went to psychology and just because it was interesting to me. And then my junior year, I decided let's try and see if selling real estate is interesting. So I literally Googled Chico Realtors and emailed. I probably emailed you and we just don't even know it. I emailed like 10 different realtors, I think, asking if anyone needs an assistant. We should look back through those emails. What year was that? That was twi- probably 2011, like early 2011. I might have it. I'm going to look. That would be so. Was it the same email you have now? Brandy at Laffins? Mm-hmm. That would be cool. We should see if I did email you because I'm assuming you would have come up. I don't know. We'll see. But I only I only remember emailing the person that actually hired me and then um, one other agent. I don't remember who else I emailed. Anyways, that's how I got into real estate. So that person, Kirsten, shout out to her. She hired me as a transaction coordinator. She's awesome. Yep. And she took my little self under her wing and mentored me and I got licensed get this, I took my license date or my license test the same date that I took a final exam on the brain. It was really hard. (laughs) The brain test or the real estate test? (laughs) So I like went in, took my exam on the brain and then drove to Sacramento, took my my real estate license test. Yeah. That's awesome. On Cinco de Mayo Mm. of 2016. And you passed. And I passed. And so I started selling real estate right away. And that was, I was 22 years old, looking like a 16 year old Mm -hmm. when I got into the business. Yeah, that's hard. It was hard. And I remember my mom, you know, being very concerned about that for me. She was like, Kelsey, you are so young and you look so young. You're really going to have to know your stuff and you're going to have to work hard and, you know, all those things. But I did. And it definitely deterred some people and some people didn't care. So, right. Well, you knew what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, you were taught well by Kirsten and you knew your stuff. Yes. And it takes time, like we were yeah. saying earlier. So, and then what happened next? What happened next? What happened next? So I was with Kirsten for about, I want to say a year and a half. And you and I met in 2017. And I learned more about the team and the opportunities there. So came over to your team in January of 2018. Like, I think I started right in the new year was a good time mm-hmm, to start. Mm-hmm. So started with you and got set up on everything and just um, started 
really getting more, even more into it and like building my own business and building my own brand and building my Instagram and doing video and trying to appeal to younger people because that's who I know would work with me. I didn't have any friends buying real estate, so I had to like find people. Um, When did you start to... How long is how long have you had your Instagram account? I guess is the oh, question. Oh, I think I because I've had my Instagram account since senior year of high school when oh, it came wow. out in twenty. Um, that would have been twenty twelve, but I converted it into real estate or whatever. I guess you could say I was doing both for a while, and now it's mostly just real estate. Like right away, right mm-hmm. when I got my license, but I wasn't doing video until I came here. So three or four years you've been consistently doing video on Insta? Oh gosh, 18, yeah, four years yeah. probably. Yeah, it five take, years. and it takes time, right? And it takes consistency. Yeah. And now you're like And everywhere. honestly, without Courtney, our videographer and social mm-hmm. media. She's pretty awesome. Yeah, I don't think I would be doing what I'm doing right now because it became a lot to just try to do all this video myself. And I think I would have gotten worn out on it. So thankfully... Right. Courtney is on the team and helps us all with video and right. just sends me great videos to post because we do have an actual job of selling homes right like, and think we have things that we need to be yes. doing and we can't just be doing it. although it looks like we're just doing it video and having fun all the time yeah making podcasts right um that's why we have amazing people like Courtney yeah yeah so that's pretty much how I got started yeah so where do you see yourself in five to ten years hmm definitely gosh that is such a hard question definitely on the team still and obviously you and I do a lot of this stuff together and Mm -hmm. help the team succeed together and I really really like that I like having that type of a role on the team as well as selling real estate and like diverse yeah like Mm -hmm. diversifying in that way and just having I have a lot of different interests all within the real estate category. So mm-hmm. that's been really fun. And I, I think I just want to stick to that for the next yeah. five years. And I got married a year ago. Oh yeah. Tell us about forgot, Dylan. Forgot Tell about us about Dylan. your family. <laughs> My family. So I have a Dylan and I have two cats, mm-hmm. <laughs> Phil and Lil. So Dylan and I got married. We met in 2018. So I joined your team in 2018, yes. met Dylan later that year. I remember when he first popped his head and we were in the old office and he left. Oh, really? like, oh my God, he's so cute. He's so cute. <laughs> I know everyone says that. He, he is. is cute. He's so cute. And great, great husband. So supportive. He's a teacher, like an elementary school teacher. So he, you can just imagine the male elementary school teacher type yes. is him for mm-hmm. sure. Yeah. And, um, so what I was going to say is we're probably three ish or so years away from having kids and that is going to be a game changer. So right now I'm just like coasting where I'm at and trying to make the most of yeah. where I'm at right now in life. And then in a couple of years, I'm going to have to figure out how to balance a kid, a baby. Yeah. Well, I think you're doing a really good job on focusing, building your brick house, as mm-hmm. Tom Ferry would say, mm-hmm. <laughs> building your brick house. And then when the time comes for babies, you're going to have a schedule that you've, you're just yeah. going to have a routine because remember you like routine. We I talked do. about that. And yes. so I totally get that. I like routine as well. Yeah. So I think you will have a routine and you're going to be amazing. And you have all the support from, from the rest of the team. So. Yeah, absolutely. And I think I'll probably end up hiring someone just to help me um, at some point, like my own assistant that will, is there for like anything I need. Mm-hmm. So that yeah. will be really helpful. And you, maybe you should have like a chef or something. <laughs> that was my first thought. I was like, Dylan, we're hiring a chef. I and he's know. like, no, we're not. Like, I oh, know. you just wait till we're both sleep deprived and working exactly. full time. But he knows how to cook. So you kind of have a chef right now. <laughs> kind of. But I have to meal plan. Yeah. <laughs> well, cook it. Hey, it's 50 50, man. It is 50 50. <laughs> yeah. No, definitely. It's, it's been fun. So yeah, that's kind of where we're at. And we bought, we have a duplex that I talked about on a previous episode Mm -hmm. that we house hacked. And then we bought a single family home this summer, which also helped in getting me ready for a future kid because there was no way we were having a kid in that duplex, obviously. But now we have (laughs) space for it. So we're hosting our first Thanksgiving. Oh, fun. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. I need to go get serving platters because I've never hosted before, but that'll be fun. (laughs) <laughs> I've got a few you can borrow them oh yeah I might need some I need to buy like place settings and everything yeah. but it'll be fun so yeah, that's how you get started you yeah how you buy all that stuff it's not just getting stuff from your wedding it's like oh oh no it's like I got 12 people coming I gotta go yeah. buy this stuff so 
Well, that's awesome. Well, thank you for a little insight. Anything yeah. else that you want to add or? Um, I don't think so. Okay. Reach out to me on Instagram if anybody has any questions. At Keys, at Keys from, from Kelsey. At Keys from Kelsey. And we will link on the podcast notes where to find us and the Laughins Real Estate Team Instagram as well. And just I just want to say, feel free to reach out to me at any time. Message me. I love talking in my DMs about about real estate. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you.